Hello, everybody. Welcome to our first Once Human Survival Guide. Very excited. I figured I'd go, hello there, event. I figured I'd go over some of the kind of uh, major gameplay kind of mechanics just to start out with. Uh, one of them being how seasons work. So I feel like that's kind of, there's a little bit of confusion about what it's all about and how it ends and the server wipes and what does that mean so let's kind of go through what we know so that you guys are prepared so what are seasons so seasons are basically scenarios uh that you play through for a certain duration of time and there's like two separate ones technically there's the scenario for pve players and then there's scenario for pvp players so obviously the pve ones you guys were playing or the, the stories are more about like you know fighting deviants in the in the world and stuff like that pvp players your scenario is going to be a little bit more about like factions and stuff like that so slightly different uh depending on which kind of server you are playing on so for me because i'm more of a pve player our uh scenario here is called manibus which is basically like this big old tentacle deviant that's kind of around and he's doing all this stuff and we're trying trying to like fight him through these various phases for this particular scenario we have six phases that we are working through and they each have like a kind of like a time limit so this is like a newer character that i have right now so that's why i have two days on here my other character that i play with my partner we're on phase two um so we're kind of working through that but basically the idea is to try to get through uh these different um kind of like these these different uh challenges and stuff before uh the phase ends and it's okay technically if you don't complete them these are just basically ways to earn extra like currencies and and all that experience whatever uh as the season progresses now there are as we can kind of see here there are different special encounters in the world but with each phase like for phase one here we have the miss zone which is actually oh that one guy, but he was there was that guy who was like just right there a moment ago uh which i have done in the past there's a public crisis event a workshop event hails moving house event which i actually discovered the other day a lot of fun that one and then a securement silo uh event as well and these kind of just happen randomly as you kind of discover them and then you do them and it's a good time now there are regions that are locked during particular phases so for example like these areas chalk peak red sands and black heart black heart region are uh, uh, locked to me right now i can't really go there but as the phase proceeds those regions become unlocked which means you know there's more story more things to discover all of that more things to do basically and the goal here is to unlock chapter one so like as you're kind of proceeding through the phases you want to get done with chapter one of the overall story the devs are telling and uh like i said there's these these challenges here that you could do and i am going to be making guides on how to go through all these i'll probably be making quite a few uh videos actually so <laughs> i guess prepare for the once human spam i don't know uh but this game moves fast so i'm trying to move fast with it to help you all out but basically we're gonna go over all these in another video on how to do this but the idea is to claim these and you get all these nice little currencies which you can use on you know whatever you want to use them on there's also a season shop where you can you know buy some stuff with the currencies if you want to like commemorate your your time in this don't have to you know it's absolutely up to you on how much you want to really invest in in this but here's basically kind of like our season info with this with the storyline uh, about manibus what he's doing what to expect that kind of a thing as well as talking about you know where this this season is occurring which of course is the eastern part of the nail caught continent uh so that is kind of like what the season is um now, how long do they last? So seasons last, at least this one lasts about six weeks. The devs have said that future seasons might also be about six weeks. Some of them might be shorter. Some of them might be longer, depending on like what the season actually includes. But six weeks, they seem pretty happy with. And I think that's a pretty good number myself as well, especially if they got like six phases to it. Uh, so that is kind of uh, the, the duration there. Now, what happens when that duration ends, the season ends? And that's where the big scary word server wipe happens. And just let me just let me calm me down it's not that bad so what do you lose when the server wipe happens the first is your level uh it'll the the, the start of a new season you will everybody's going to revert back to level one and i don't know if that means you're going to be like making like a new character completely like like character creation or if you just go back to one not too sure about that but we're going to go back to level one which is like who cares you know what i mean like just go out and you're gonna be leveling up pretty fast like you level up pretty quickly in this game to be honest uh next is that your uh materials and resources they do not uh come with you so like your wood your different ore you're gonna have to go and get those again again big deal 
you're going to be, you know, you're going to be out in the world anyway. Might as well pick up some logs <laughs> on the way, right? Uh, and then your memetics also uh, replenish, or, you know, this, uh, reset as well. That's these guys, your kind of technology. And that's not too bad either because you get those, you get ciphers to unlock these as you level up. So since you're going to be leveling up anyway, no big deal, right? Uh, and the reason why I think they do that is because I think some seasons um, kind of like have certain memetics that make more sense than others, I think, is what they were kind of leaning toward, like they're talking about. So, uh, you know, you might find that, like, you might need to make more power generators or something. You might need to go more electrical in one season than you might have in a previous one because it requires certain more, you know, items or whatever that you need to make. Who knows, right? But basically those uh, reset, which, you know, no big deal. Now, the things that you save, the things that move forward uh, are... Um, your blueprints and blueprints are great because you, you you technically don't take your weapons and gear with you. You can take them with you to Eternal Land, and Eternal Land unlocks at level twenty. And that's basically like this private server that you have where you can build your base. You can stash all your weapons and gear by like paying some sort of like transfer currency, which you can earn in game. You don't have to pay real money to do that. Uh, and basically the idea is that, you know, you can store them there if you want. If you love something, you can do it. Now, I'm not too sure on if you can bring those items with you into the new season. The devs weren't 100% clear on that, and I hope they are. They make themselves clear, you know, when we get closer to the end of the season. But uh, even if you can't, you are able to maintain the blueprints that you learned. And that for me is like right here. I'm beginner character, so I only have so many of these unlocked right now. But I have, for example, like these weapon blueprints. I'm going to continue to know all these in the new season. So like if there's like a favorite weapon and I have its blueprint, I can make that in the new season. I just got to go get the materials for it. Boom, done. Um, so that's not terrible. Like your blueprints are saved. They come with you. Uh, same with certain formulas for like furniture that also comes with you. Uh, when it comes to like your base though, oh, there's our event. Hello there. When it comes to our base, uh, bases don't technically move forward with you into the new season. You're going to have to remake your base. But you can save your base as a blueprint. And then when the new season happens, you just go into, like, your blueprints, your little house blueprint, and be like, when you're, like, you know, and you're going to set up your territory, be like, here's is it. And then there's your blueprint for your house. You select that. We'll go into this another guy. I know how to actually do this. But, and then you have your house there. As long as you have, like, the materials on you, obviously, to, like, build the house. But that's it. You just, your house, you know, the whole, like, structure that you have, it's there. It's saved for you. Just make sure that, like, you know, you do save it as a blueprint before the season ends. And then, boom, your house is ready to go. So, you know, not terrible there either. So, uh, that's kind of, like, the, the major stuff there. Uh, the only thing, really, is that, like, you know, when it comes to a new season, I think, basically, that means, obviously, we get more storylines, but... Uh, but I think we also potentially get like like a bigger map or like more map sections. So it's a it's an evolving game for sure, and uh, you know pretty excited to see what they what they have in store for the future. Because you know if this game does well, I could see this lasting for a very long time with like tons of content. But that is Seasons. Hopefully you found that a little bit more clear. Uh, if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. If I don't know, I'll just let you know. I do not know because the devs aren't like 100% clear on certain things. But, uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.